This is a Prusa Mark III, and unfortunately, it's got an issue. It's got a wobble. I have an idea on what's wrong, and maybe an idea on what we can do to fix it. Let's go. I believe the problem has to do with the bottom of the machine and the feet. The Mark III has these rubbery feet. They work great, but the problem is when you move it around a bunch and you put it in the back of your car and you take it out, they like to pop out. And so there's a foot missing right there. And I have an idea on what we can do to fix it. Does the fix involve 3D printing? Of course it does. Of course 3D printing can do cool things and 3D printing feet for your printer is, is something I've even done before in the past, but I wanted to look for new ones just because it's been a while and I wanted to see if there was an updated model and there is. It's on printables.com. Anti-vibration feet, MK3, MK3S, and I have an MK3, so that's awesome. In fact, look, here is a picture of how it works. It kind of goes across the extrusion or the metal bracket at the front, and that works great. But I did notice something. So have a look at that model on the left. It looks like it was printed with supports maybe, and I think that little foot at the bottom is the culprit. Have a look. This could be so much easier to print if those two little feet on this foot weren't there. I don't think those little pushouts at the bottom are needed for stability. I think these are gonna work as is without those. And I wanna take those off, but rather than fire up a CAD program to do some editing, we can just do this in the slicer. I've brought the foot into Idea Maker because my plan is to print these in ABS on the Raise 3D E2. And in Idea Maker, there's something called free cut that other slicers have, which is awesome, but I'm gonna show you how to use it in Idea Maker to solve the problem at hand. Here's the model. What I want to do is rotate this until I have it up like this. I wanna hit free cut, and then I wanna bring this down just a bit, just until it is right on top. Here's the thing, look, we can see the outline of the model, and we can look over at the cutting plane that says Z 19.9, and if I bring it up just slightly, it goes to 20.1. Now, I have a hunch it should just be 20. So what I'm gonna do is change that to 20.0 and just hit enter. And look at that, look at that. I think we're in a good spot. So now what I'm gonna do is start a cut. That's it. So if you look, now this top section is separate. I can just delete it, just like that. For the other side, I mean, let's just do it again. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna rotate it, uh, let's see, 180 degrees. I'm gonna use a free cut, I'm gonna bring it down. Now, I know that it is 20 millimeters tall. Well, it was 25 before, and when we took five millimeters off, it took off that top one. So I know if I go over here, and I just go 15, it brings us down to the level we want. I'm gonna hit start cut, and then of course this is now a separate piece, which I can remove with a delete. Look at that. Look at that, we have it set up in a proper print orientation because the perimeters go this way and when we tilt it up to be feet, then the printer's weight is pushing against the perimeters rather than with the perimeters, meaning we have a better chance of it being more stable and more robust. And I know with printer feet, we're gonna need more than one. We're gonna need four, in fact. I'm gonna select the model, I'm gonna hit duplicate and I want three copies giving me four in total. That's it, that is it. Now, all we have to do is slice this and send it to the E2. We'll have four of these in ABS in just a few hours. Here we go, time lapse. That really didn't take long at all. Let's get them out of the printer. Here they are. In ABS, looking pretty sweet. One, two, three, four. Let's go take these over to the Prusa and see how they fit. To put these on, we need to get the rubber feet off first, and it's really simple to remove. You can just pull them off, just like that. I mean, I could go put it in and out of my car a few times, and the feet would just magically fall off, but for now, we just pop them right off. Now, these are in ABS, and they've got some good, good spring to them. I'm really excited to try these out. And I think all I need to do is clip them on. Ooh, nice little snap. Ooh, satisfying snap. One last test. 
Oh, that's nice. That's nice. That's sturdy. That is not going anywhere. These are great feet. They slot into the extrusion and they're nice and tight. They're not sliding off. They're not falling off. I would be confident in moving this machine, even putting it in the backseat of my car where it seems that feet go to disappear. So I'm really excited. This worked out really great. This is a great model, obviously. Put the link down in the description. And then this printer is scheduled for a few more upgrades. This one's gonna get a Revo from E3D and it needs a new bed thermistor. What else could I do to this machine for mods? Let me know in the comments. Practical printing is fun and I hope to do a lot more of this on the channel. Let me know if you have any suggestions on cool stuff to print. But if you made it this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more. Print for a cause. And as always, High five.